Hi, I'm Ian DeBoer, co-chair of the new KDGO Clinical Practice Guideline for Diabetes Management and Chronic Kidney Disease, and I'm going to share some of the key takeaways for clinicians. Patients with diabetes and chronic kidney disease have complex multi-system disease that requires a foundation of therapy with lifestyle. That includes exercise, appropriate nutrition, not smoking, targeting of risk factors including blood glucose, blood pressure, and blood lipids with pharmacologic therapy layered on top. Patients should consume a balanced, healthy diet that's high in vegetables, fruits, whole grains, fiber, legumes, plant-based proteins, unsaturated fats, and nuts, and lower in processed meats, refined carbohydrates, and sweetened beverages. Sodium should be kept to less than 2 grams per day, and dietary protein intake should be approximately 0.8 grams per kilogram of body weight, in accordance with recommendations from the World Health Organization for adults in general. Glycemic control should be monitored with hemoglobin A1c. For patients with advanced CKD, particularly those receiving dialysis, the reliability of hemoglobin A1c is decreased and results should be interpreted with caution. Continuous glucose monitoring and self-monitoring of blood glucose may be useful in such cases, particularly for patients who are using therapies associated with hypoglycemia, such as insulin and sulfonylureas. Targets for glycemic control should range from a hemoglobin A1c target of less than 6.5% to less than 8%, taking into account risk factors for hypoglycemia, such as CKD stage, comorbidities, and glucose lowering therapies. Thanks for watching. The working group is very proud of these guidelines and hopes that they serve as a useful resource for clinicians and the patients we care for around the world. The full clinical practice guideline can be accessed online at www.kdigo.org.